<laughs> Please be patient. Hello, it's okay. Okay. I feel like she's I know so nice. You. Oh, look at this. Okay. Now, so many of us love Gene Hackman. What was it like for you working with him? It was great. He's great. He's a, he's a consummate professional, and I, and I have a lot of admiration for him. He's a very generous actor and makes, um, the minute I was on the set with him, he did half my work for me just because he was so committed to what he was doing. Um, he's, it's great. You just kind of look in his eyes and go. Tell me about your character, Mrs. Pell. She seems to represent a large number of the women during that time. They were fed up with the violence and the brutality. Tell me a little bit about her. Yeah, I think, I think that she is, that's what, what I was fascinated about uh, portraying her, is that she starts at a place where I think a lot of people, and, and not just women, a lot of people were in that, in that time, in a small rural town, who've been brought up very, um, in a very strict religious background, in a very racially prejudiced society, who think something's wrong but are afraid to really doubt it or really question it. And because of uh, the event in the movie and because of her relationship with Mr. Anderson, Gene Hackman's character, she gains the courage to voice her opinion. Mm -hmm. When you were down there, did you feel any type of friction with locals, with people who actually lived through that? Um, not, not really, though. I, I'm sorry to say that I didn't become more involved with people in the community. I wasn't in Jackson, Mississippi that long. Uh, most of my work took place in the last month of the filming, which was in Alabama. And the community we were in was a, was a small rural community. It was the county seat. And one thing that was fascinating to me is that every county in Alabama, and I, I assume that it's, it might be the same in Mississippi, every county is so different, economically, socially, um, racially. A everyone is different. The accents are even different. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that there is tension. If, if by only looking at the, the structures, the houses in which people live, um, there's still a disparity between um, what people, what opportunities some people have and the, what others have. Why was it important now, in 1988, 25 years later, to, to bring up this story? Why was it important to bring that to light again? I think it's very important people don't forget that it happened and that, that people could be, could do such a violent act uh, to uh, an innocent, uh, innocent people. Um, I also think that it's important to remember that it wasn't something that just happened in 1964, though our society has benefited a great deal from all people being given the right to vote. There's still racial prejudice in the world and, and people need to uh, consider it. Why were there not more characters like Mrs. Pell? I mean, um, it seemed like in the film that they didn't show as many of the, the sympathizers, the people mm -hmm. who were the intelligent group, you know, that helped the blacks that yeah, were supportive. I think a lot of the responsibility did fall to the character of Mrs. Pell and, and Mr. Anderson and mm -hmm. Ward. Um, I think that because the movie was based on a violent act that the majority of the characters portrayed in the film were were shown as coming from a violent uh, center of of themselves. Um, though I think there were there were subtleties in um, a lot of the performances that just the overall picture I think comes off as as one of portraying that event, that violent act. What do you think? Um people when they leave the theater, what should they take home with them? What is the lesson to be learned from all this? That, um, that it did happen, that it's not just, uh, it's not just, it is a movie, Mississippi Burning is a movie and not, not a documentary, but it is a, it was a period of our history, of American history, of human history, and that it, it has to be remembered and, and, um, addressed. Mm -hmm. You can learn from it. What about um, the way that this will be received? Do you think that the people in Mississippi are going to, I don't want to say be pleased with this, but do you think that this is going to help them in their uh, struggle to, to change or to change oh, their image? I think image? they have changed. I think they have changed their image. And I think um, the, the black community in Mississippi 
by, uh, by having the vote has changed. Um, I think that it is a period of their history that they're not proud of and it's going to be very hard to see brought, uh, brought into, you know, um, the public eye again. But I, I think that the, the fact is, is that it did happen and it's a consequence of it happening. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think yeah, more not. time with Francis than anybody <laughs> did today. I'm so, so pleased.